How is it to go? Well, now out today, everybody. This is Speed Boy 14 on my playthrough of Super Mario Odyssey for the Nintendo Switch. If you guys give me a favor and drop a like on this video, I'd really, really appreciate that big time. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button and click on the bell right beside it. Be notified every time my new videos come out. Exciting feature of the channel, you can request your favorite move or your favorite kingdom of the game in the comments below. Now we're doing the post-game stuff, because last time we took out Bowser, of course. Also, let me know down in the comments below for question of the video. Um, I'd really love to know for question of the video. Um, what is your favorite Major League Baseball team? I'd really like to know. Um, so, we're going to be doing the post-game stuff now. I love the Mushroom Kingdom in this game. The Mushroom Kingdom really reminds me of Super Mario 64. Like it really does. And the power moons you get in the Mushroom Kingdom are the same shape as the power stars from Super Mario 64. We can buy a moon from here. We can actually buy 10 from here. Since that cost over a thousand coins to buy 10. Or maybe it costs exactly a thousand. Hmm. So we have the new feature where we can buy 10 coins instead of just, um, instead of just whatever, instead of just one. Or we can buy 10 moons instead of just one. If we put our hat on this tail, we can get a power moon. So we're going to top the toad at the castle before we do any of the post-game stuff. Because why not? Awful news! Mario! Princess Peach has gone missing again. She packed her suitcase, happy as can be, and walked off. We can't find her anywhere. Where is she? So she must have took a tour around different kingdoms. Okay, so we can actually get a moon right here. There we go. And there are some moons you get by talking to Toadette. There we go. So we're just going to collect some moons. That's a lot of moons. Look at that. Oh my goodness, that's a lot. We collected 30 moons and yeah, we have 30 moons in our inventory right now. Are you gonna ever stop giving me those moons? It's awesome that I'm getting a lot of moons. These are a lot of moons. 
How am I getting so many? There we go. All right. All right, so now we're gonna continue the Mushroom Kingdom. By collecting some power moons. Excuse me. There we go. Look at this. This is, a, this is an awesome kingdom. Looks like we have some power moons ready to get. For this moment, we have to ride this motorcycle. Ah! How did I miss that? We need to go back and try again. There we go. That's the only time or challenge there is in the Mushroom Kingdom. There's musical notes in place here in order to get a moon. My favorite Major League Baseball team has to be the Atlanta Braves, like I've said several times. There we go. We have a 2D section door where we can get two moons in here.
All right, so there we go. I can't wait to eventually get the Super Mario 64 outfit. All right. So basically, um, you have to do this. Okay, so this word gets tricky right here. Excuse me. There we go. Hardest part is over. There we go. Secret Tootie Treasure. There we go. There we go. We're done with that section. Alright, so what we're gonna do now is, um, excuse me, there's some bosses we can fight here. We can buy this first. So we can have double HP. Some purple coins right there. We're gonna go inside here. We're gonna fight one of the bosses. And here is a rematch of what? This is the rematch of Knuckle Tech. So basically it's the same strategy as the other one, except the only thing that makes it more difficult is you have those enemies that appear from the ground. We possess the fist and then we use the fist to punch him in the face like that. Just like we did back in the Sand Kingdom. That's all we have to do. Watch out for these obstacles right there that are falling down. Repeat the same thing until you win. That's really all you gotta do. Alright. He's gonna do his clapping hands now. 
Are you kidding me? I seriously tried to dodge that. I was being careful and trying to dodge it. There we go. That is a multi moon. There we go, we're done with um, that boss. Now we're gonna fight the easiest of the bo of the rematch bosses. But we can get the checkpoint first. Oh, there's a seed here. Let's go plant this before we fight any of the future bosses. Alright, so let's find somewhere to plant this seed. So, um... Let's plant it right here. down here. Now we're going to go ahead and do the boss down here. This is the rematch of, I don't, I don't know what this, what, the rematch of that boss that was from the Seaside Kingdom. Except he's with, except he's even easier than he was in the Seaside Kingdom. So basically what you gotta do here is, is that you have unlimited water cause, cause it's raining at the area so it gives you unlimited water to use. Into that you spray top of his head like this. That's all you gotta do. have to repeat this three times a day again. Yeah. There we go. Just 
One more little hit left. And he's out. Water here. I feel like there's nothing under there, but that's fine. And then we already beat this boss. There's six of those rematches that we fought. This boss right here is the rematch of that boss from the Luncheon Kingdom, which is Kukashio. So the only thing that's to make it more difficult that I have here is just these bars, like these bite bars, and I don't know what those things are called that move around like that. The spike bars is the only thing that added to make it more difficult. There we go. Just one more hit left. And then he'll be out. Still pretty easy boss. You just gotta do this. There's our multi moon. Excuse me. All right. All right. I'm going to, the hardest one of these rematches has to be to make a wiggler boss fight, so I'm going to go ahead and knock it out of the way. We're going to go ahead and buy. 
one of these. Which is a double HP thing, so we can have double HP. Before we take out what we're about to take out. The Make a Wiggler boss, um, hopefully I don't struggle too hard with it, because I have struggled with it before. Because it, it is a pretty difficult boss. Probably the hardest boss in the entire game, I have to say. Basically what you gotta do with this boss is you gotta possess the tank once again. And then you gotta use the tank in order to attack the wigglers. You have two wigglers instead of just one. Excuse me. And then and then you just gotta do this. You gotta attack this and and then there we go. There we go. separates into two when it does that. And there we go. So we have to be really careful right here. I'm actually doing pretty good on this boss. I first thought it might take a couple tries just because of how difficult the boss is. There we go. He's out. Excuse me. We already defeated the hardest of those bosses, which is the Make a Wiggler boss fight. We just have two more bosses left. We have a seed we can plant right here. So we can grab the seed and plant it right here to unlock the next boss. <clears throat> to create a beanstalk. And then this is where we, this is the rematch with Torque Drift right here. Let's 
So, it's basically the same thing as the one from the Wizard Kingdom. You start the boss like this. So it's the same strategy as what you did in the Wooded Kingdom, except the only thing they added was were those laser beams. So that's the only thing they added to make it more difficult. But it's still the same strategy. Still not too hard. So it's just do that, and then you do that. Are you kidding me? You gotta be kidding me. And then we'll just do the same thing. We have to hit him three times, basically. Alright, we just need to hit him a couple times. Now we have one more boss to fight of the bosses in the Mushroom Kingdom. Excuse me. Excuse me. Well, I actually have to get Yoshi in order to do this one. First of all, we, we, don't, we don't need to use Yoshi in order to lower down the tide of the water. We just need to use Cappy to do that. In order to lower the water. It would save Yoshi for later if we moved him over here. Maybe we have to go back and get him, I guess. Because we'll have to use him to eat that fruit in order to open the pot. Alright, so we need to use Yoshi to eat this fruit. And this will be the last boss we have to fight 
in this video. It's the rematch of the Rowan Dragon. Remember that Rowan Dragon we fought in the uh, Rowan Kingdom? Dragon, so the only thing different is that, of course, the the ground is more slippery this time, and of course, it's the, the same strategy as it was before. Um, so, but the lasers are different. Instead of it being all on the ground, so some that move up, some that move down. And you just have to do the same strategy you did back when you fought him in the Road Kingdom. It's the same thing. One more hit left. This will be the last boss I do in this video. And then, because I'm splitting the Mushroom Kingdom into multiple parts. And he's out. did all the rematches now which are the rematch of the one from Sand Kingdom, the rematch of the one from Wooded Kingdom, the rematch of the one from Metro Kingdom, the rematch of the one from Lunching Kingdom, the rematch of the one from Seaside Kingdom, and the rematch of the one from Ruined Kingdom. Excuse me. I guess I'll end the video off here. So, alright guys, that's it. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, don't forget to drop a like. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button. And click on the bell right beside it to be notified every time my new videos come out. Have a wonderful day. Peace, Republic of Speedboy.